Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here, doing a little spring cleaning on the trailer. Yes, I know I'm gonna be getting a van, but I still gotta keep this uh, trailer up until all that other stuff happens. And it will happen, it's just not going as fast as I want it to. And I need to uh, fix a couple of things and clean up the trailer like I normally do. I do this like maybe four times a year, and last year it was three times. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, but I'll show you uh, what I'm doing and everything. And right now it's night time, so I just redid the uh, the mattress and with a new one also because that that cover was like two years old. So um, it's not in too bad shape. Plus it was a flat. I uh, accidentally bought a flat last time, replacing the fitted. And I should have just took it back because the fitted fits better is no pun <laughs> I'll get back with y'all here probably tomorrow morning because uh, it's starting to get late and I will finish up cleaning up and all that other stuff Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle Okay, this is my mattress. It's a six inch foam memory mattress and it's made from a Millard six inch memory foam tri folding mattress. Anyway, this is an awesome mattress. I had to trim it off a little bit, about two inches, I think, for it to fit in the trailer. Every once in a while, I have to get another sheet and this here is a fitted sheet and I bought them at Walmart yeah I know and it's probably made in China the one thing that I, I do is I have these elastic here to hold it on to the uh, to the bed so it doesn't slip out as easy it still does but it doesn't do it as easy And the fitted sheets fit better. It says twin top or bottom, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Put that over there, and then we'll go down to the other end, then we'll flip it and we'll put our little straps that hold this on. So you know this isn't exactly a twin. Uh, somebody wants to sew me a uh, one that fits perfectly. I would certainly take you up on that. But you can see it fits pretty good. I'm uh, I'm not uh, unhappy with that at all. And there's uh, two ways of thinking about this. You can go from here to here, or you can go straight across. Um, I've been going straight across for the most part. <laughs> that didn't hold very well, did it? I'll try this again. And these things really do help, even though they're a pain in the ass to put on. That's okay too. Okay, that's good. We're going to do the other end. There we go. That's all there is to it. Can't get much better than that. The next morning. Now I've cleaned the trailer out, and there's a couple of pillows. I've got the uh, Blue Eddy over there, some tools some bags there's my blanket half of that is going to go into storage this box here where my toe is at goes into the storage and then the rest of that is food stuff yeah all right guys i've uh got all this stuff here on the bed see like this particular box here holds uh raffle tickets that i use at some of the events there's some hand warmers there 
I'm going to move that into the warmer winter stuff bag, which I don't use a whole lot. These are batteries and all kinds of uh, crap like that. Uh, this particular coffee thing here, which I should get a couple more of these, but I don't drink coffee, hold the uh, mounting stuff for the cameras. Of course, I got my trifo bed. I pillows are sitting there, electric blankets, the new biggie blanket I got. There's videos coming out on that. Uh, bags. I bought these bags uh, in California somewhere on my second year of the trip. And they cost me like three cents a piece. They weren't very expensive. Well, I went ahead and bought one because it was only three cents. And then I found out how strong these bags are. Uh, not your normal bags. I may do a separate video on this. Uh, I went and back and bought four of those. They're, they're just tough bags and they last forever. Now, I bought some in, in Austin at this H-E-B that was requiring me to do that. And I looked at the bags and they were just like the regular flimsy stand, you know, bags. Anyway, I digress. This is my main bin that sits in the uh, middle and it holds food stuff, you know, like uh, uh, tamales, some honey, sardines, what's that, Vienna sausage. Some of this is kind of like emergency food in case you get stranded. Ramen noodles, which I eat a lot of. Uh, those are some storage bags. I never use this. I think I'll send it back. <laughs> uh, some plastic bags there. And let's go look at the... Uh, yeah, I've got it all emptied out uh, pretty much that's a tool that I keep around I have two main things that I keep with tools this and my tool bag and then there's one on the motorcycle but these are all been emptied out except for the hammock there and there's going to be a lot less going back in yeah I know but like I said, I got to get ready for the van, and um, and I might get the winch switched out, the controller, uh, to run that instead of just tapping the wires. Yeah, I know. I'm not supposed to do that, which I've been doing. Right here is some uh, sealant that's self-leveling. I uh, bought two of them, thinking I was going to need four. I kind of actually need to redo the, the ceiling around the fan, but it's not leaking and I'm not going to worry about it right now. So this stuff will go back to storage. I got me three more of these plastic clear ammo. And I like the part that they're clear because I can see what's in it. Uh, I don't have to mark it on the outside. And I bought one to put all the mosquito stuff in kind of hard got these mosquito repellents this one goes on top of the butane tanks this one right here is an electric one and these two are electric and they they all work well so these are kind of like uh they go with me kind of mobile if i'm leaving the campsite or whatever that and then i got a whole bunch of the thermocell things that you put in here Anyway, I, I think these are really nice. If you like compartmentalizing your stuff, which I like to do, because it makes it easier to find stuff, except for the stuff I haven't looked at in a year, uh, these boxes are really nice. I like these boxes, so I'm going to replace the some of these storage boxes, which are okay, and they serve their purpose, but I... Uh, those other little boxes are a lot more tougher than these, and these crack all the time, and then I have to replace them. They're cheap. Yeah, cheap. <laughs> I am all hot and sweaty. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. There's all the sweat coming off of me. Anyway, let's go out and take a look. 
at the pop-up trailer here. I've got that. Let me turn around. Okay. Got the zoom out here a little bit. Got the uh, mattress in. You got the biggie blanket there. The electric blanket is down below in the rear compartment with some other warm gear. Uh, this stuff is easy enough to pull out if I need to. Just have to move the mattress to get to it. Anyway, I've got my step stool here, my table, my chair, my solar generator thingy. My pillars are in here. I've got three of these nets here. That's the uh, switch to the fan. It works better when I use the remote instead of the buttons up there. My bug zapper, which I kind of need to rinse off. If you want one of these, I got it off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Uh, I've got stuff here, cooking stuff there and right back there. That's some cooking stuff and then tools. And the tools are going to go to storage, the big toolbox with the drill and everything. So anyway, I need to get some metal flashing and clean that up and put it on there because the pulley is tearing that up. That didn't start until the accident. And I got a mark there, mark there. So I'm gonna put four four inch flashings um, double side tape them down in here because this pulley is in four different corners that lifts this thing yeah absolutely I put this on here uh, a few months ago to seal off the door from the outside And that's pretty much it. I need to finish wiring the winch up instead of just touching it with the cables that I've been doing. Uh, but other than that, that'll uh, get everything back up to norm. Uh, if you're wondering what this switch is here, this cuts on the LED lights under there. You can't see them here in the daytime for when I'm on parades. Uh, people always ask me what these tubes are for. This holds my awning poles, and this holds my banner. That when I'm at places, I put the banner up. Not like I don't need to have a banner up, but I put it up sometimes anyway. It's all looking good. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and wire these uh, LED pole lights, but maybe later. I'm gonna sit here for a little while and cool off, yeah. Wow, I think there's a blanket over here. So I'm gonna call the rag. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the me uh, doing spring cleaning for the trailer. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the year, I'll have the van all switched over and I shouldn't say all switched over. I hope to have the van built out and I'll take y'all along with me. And I be sh I should be picking that up next week. Should. I'm hoping so. If y'all want to help out with the van, I have a GoFundMe and I'll have that link down below. Uh, or you can just go to my PayPal account and do a, do a donation for that, but be sure you mark it for what it's for. Otherwise, it's going to the uh, Writing for a Cure, which that would be okay too, but uh, yeah. All right, I got to go over to uh, I got to go over to the storage, drop off, it's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I I probably had an extra 50 pounds of stuff, which uh, I wasn't feeling it, but it's not good. Anyhow, I got all that stuff out, which is good. And then I'm going to go do some laundry. Yeah. Catch y'all on the road here doing spring cleaning in Haltom City with my trailer. 
the writing for a cure trailer, that is. <laughs>